choose women who choose you. In a related story, choose people who choose you. Uh, top inspired by, I think it's called Success with Cars. Success is Beards or something like that. I'll have to get back to you on that. But that was um, Vision 2. A piece that he was doing that said uh, Choosing Women That Are Into You. And all right, I think it should be just people that want to work with you, team up with you, be a part of your life. Um, I don't know if it's an attitude or a stubborn attitude or being cold hearted or just having rules. But for me, if you fuck up in my life once royally, it's okay if you fuck up. You fucked up, stress something new. But if you fuck up and show weakness, it's, to me, especially out here in the civilian world, I'm like, if you'll crumble over something small like that, I remember someone one time telling me, yeah, you know, yeah, if, if I ever got in trouble and was my ass or yours? No, believe that, man. It would be your ass. You know, getting in trouble, getting locked up. Yeah, hey, I'll tell everyone. You know, whatever happened, I'll make sure that if I didn't do nothing wrong, that whoever, and I thought, what? What the fuck? So I was like, what? And this was merely a hypothetical uh, conversation. But if you could honestly tell me that, yeah, man, believe that, I wouldn't um, stand up for you. And, and, uh, better you than me. And, I, and I'll say that that's uh, fucking around as a joke, but wow, I'm not gonna stick around for something like that. But choose. Uh, Choose women who choose you. Basically, choose people who choose you. I'm sitting back in my chair, just reflecting on life. Where no doubt that I'd be far more ahead in life. I could have far less money, far less resources, far less things. If I would have blown up higher or gambled more or took more risk and lost it all, I could have. But on the other hand, I also think that had I just been more intense, the rewards would have been bigger. Again, for me, um, I wasn't raised with, grew up with, or surrounded by a lot of people that, that would say, "Oh yeah, let's start a business. Uh, let's let's promote, let's network, let's get this done. Research and development, charge this and now who's the competitor doing? Everyone wants to start a business with your money. You do the work." Uh, make sure you got their pay ready. 
their pay ready no matter what and you gotta have everything already set up the customers the client the scheduling everything and I'm like what the fuck and I've seen some people I have one hero in my life this dude um Wow. Wow. A, a man. Fucking an amazing being, man. This guy's intense. I'm just gonna train a thought because I just think of this dude. How much he taught me. Um, and he didn't have to either because he's in such high demand. <laughs> such high demand. And he says, hey man, come over here, man. Let's talk. I remember. One thing that was that was pretty cool. I remember this one hot chick uh, came walked by us. It's like, hey, gorgeous, and uh, friend looks up, smiles, says hello, and continues um our conversation. I just thought, you know, how many people would would do otherwise, man? I've seen it, you know, they're like, uh, why don't you, why did you fuck her? Did you get to hook up, man? Did you get her name on, man? I'd be hooking up with that right now. More than once it's happened to me, it's like, oh, man, why don't you get her number? Yeah, she's a little overweight. Yeah, she's a single mom, but, man. You know, if she's single and then you're single, why would you do that? What the fuck? What the fuck are you talking about? The liabilities, the fuck, what the fuck's going on with her? Is my train of thought because <laughs> um yeah th this dude's a specimen man I mean he did believe the whole um oh COVID nineteen is uh we should have a a COVID test where we uh hang out or meet up or do business and think about You know, you're the type of dude I'm thinking that if I was trapped on a burning, sinking boat, tied like a damsel in distress to the what's it called the bow to the to the front of the to the front of the ship, that uh, if I could go up there with a butter knife and rescue me and be like, oh, oh, what's up, man? Uh, wanna do lunch later? Be available. I'll be, I'll be uh, in town, man. So catch up, see, see what's up. Cause he's just that fucking amazing, man. And, uh, and things change in life, huh? It sucks when, you know, that, that the higher, in my opinion, the higher you, you fly, the more you demand from yourself, from your team, people around you, that um, you got to be more intense and shit, opportunity, success, failure, fuck, man, 
um, a degree of difference uh, be between each other. I just remember uh, during that time period. Oh my goodness, we're just. Uh, it wasn't really that. You know, another. That time of. A hero of mine, a, a brother, you know. You know we weren't related, we, we weren't even. Uh, in, in the same uh, family in, in a different country and uh, we work together we were fucking making shit happen we feel so comfortable in the rewards takes it easy gets distracted and no longer keeps a high standard of um, his products and services man associated with one of the other businesses that I was in and I was like this guy's guy fucking awesome man big ass heart such an inspiration Anyways, back to um, women. I'm trying to think. That chick was cool, but she was only cool after work. The job that um, she was there because it paid well. The other job, this other chick. It was at her job because that's all she knew how to do. The minimum. And I can just think of um one chick. You don't have too much baggage. Her own sex and annoying. She was sex and annoying. And I thought it was a I thought she was a princess, but she wasn't. But um One, one time I went to um, an art show. At first I saw the, uh, the, the artwork and I thought, oh, huge, colorful, awesome, cool display. Then I saw the artist and I'm like, what the fuck? She looked like a tan fitness model. And I was like, damn. Stunned. I'm like, what planet are you visiting from? This other chick, man, probably the last one that I hooked up with. When I first met her, I was and I saw her, I'm like, dang, you know, yeah, she, she is uh, living in modern art, just, yeah, but long story short, um, a kid, I'm pretty sure that I wasn't attractive to her, maybe for, uh, for a little bit, but nothing stable. Or maybe her uh, her rough past made her clam up a bit. And that's okay, because I'm not here to rub your belly. You know, I wouldn't mind rubbing her belly any day. But, you know, let, let them heal. Let them do their own thing. Because girls will say, no, well, you got to breathe in and nurture them. I'm like, no, 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 no. But, um, 
I'm, I'm so focused on this. And by this, I'm just me merely mean a drawing. But I mean progress, success. Body of work, network of clients and businesses that I've worked with. But I think you shouldn't be chasing anyone in life. Men, women, the opposite sex, friends. Um, be be yourself if you're just focused on excellence. That should, in my opinion, that should be good enough. So the um, professional European athlete. Man, but this guy was so focused on um, on, on pushing himself. I remember one time a uh, badass chick was just um, hey, can I join you guys? Let's talk. And he was much more. <laughs> He was much more into a conversation. Remember, what we're talking about philosophy, life, opportunity. And I was like, dang, if you don't say that nice piece of ass right there, I'm just like, mm, mm, mm. I, I, I have no idea what the hell that, that chick looks like now, or look like at the moment, but I just remember, dang it, her, her skin, her curves, my God. But, uh, yeah, I've seen people that, you know, but these dudes were also taller than me, more muscular, uh, much better smile. And I won't say it's just that, but the way that they, they just focused on themselves. They said, well, here I am, I got shit to do. And I'm working on catch up, uh, run with me, create alongside with me. Let's go to the shop for the business, um, get it done. I have a friend who's uh, like, you know, he makes a nice penny. He's like, all right, man, I'll see you at this time. I'll, probably, I'll, I'll pencil you in for these 15 minutes, man. Let's hang out for a bit. And, uh, and then one, one or two minutes pass, he's looking at, at his, at his uh, watch. He's like, all right. And he's like, yeah, it's nice. Nice seeing you. I knew that when he was looking at his watch that he, he's losing money. He's still a cool motherfucker, man. But um, I'm not gonna let him, let him do his own thing. He's on his own life path. I'm good, man. Damn, I'm, I'm happy that he's like, he's big balling. <laughs> that dude this year, he's probably earned more this year than I have I earned in my entire life. It's very likely he's that that good. But yeah these these people, these friends that they hang out with me, talk with me, show me the way, have dinner with barbecues, pizza.
I think when they have a roller decks, that's one the people call and hang out. Professional DJs, club promoters, I guess. Oh, that's all. Focus on yourself. And and just be aware of that because for me when I got distracted by dumb shit, other people who are not focused on, on achieving excellence, it's it's distracting. Distracting and effective. To be destructive too, man. So people will be jealous and hateful. And, uh, and no one else wants the success. the success. No one cares more about the success than you will, ever will. Rare. Rare is a person that be like, yeah, man, I'm there with you if you need to help. Oh, I'm, I'm just thinking right now about one thing that I learned that was nasty. Um, if you want to be betrayed by people that you think love you, in most cases they are friends and family, only they can betray you. Just had times where I thought, fuck. That's my tr trust. Uh, a thousand percent of my trust evaporates <coughs> at a certain moment. Uh, with people that I, I thought believed were uh, friends or supposed family, or whatever that means, family. Because we're blood related, but. Um, You should know that I, if it depends on me, trust me, I have your best intentions. Best intentions for you. That's not the case. And now where I'm at, you know, but I sleep a lot better knowing that, again, I put pressure on people that, um, Fail to pull the trigger, are doubtful of themselves. Because if they don't believe in themselves and their very own self, they don't believe in me. Because even when I've worked along with stronger teams, amazing teams, stronger individuals, I still thought, fuck, you know, if that's a good team to join, and then let's see. Let's see what I could learn, what, what, what I could pick up. Um, what can I learn from this? What can I use here to apply to my life? And, um, yeah, man, that's, that's it pretty much. And, and it's things to, um, to look back at some of these things. But you know what's also cool at times? Thinking about a, a friend of mine that I saw years, years, and years ago. But I found out how, how he's doing now. And now he's married. Married with another chick. Has two kids and... You know, you know, both of us come from you know, uncertain backgrounds <laughs> where uh, even where like anyone, and me and him looked at what people would call, man, this is hard, this is dangerous, this is difficult. I'm like, all right, cool, what, uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> all right, uh, watch me, all right? I think it's doing, I think, fuck, you know. 
Good for him. Got a big heart. Also big ass fucking muscles. And that motherfucker's strong for his size. Fucking strong. Green because um red tongue. I'm not sure if this shirt's gonna be too red or like a more of like fresh meat. Sand color. Coming video project. Make sure you leave a dislike and a negative comment. Because I get so tired of seeing on this video YouTubers that say, make sure you like and subscribe and share this video and stuff. Shut the fuck up. If you want to like and want to share it, they will. I read just to other people who are big on help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, help me, help me, help me, help me, fuck you. Fuck that. Keep the dog over there. Keep it down. That's what I'm gonna fuck this. Get after it. Come forward. Trump.